All right, guys, so we are on the last section in the skills assessment web fuzzing in this uh, HTB Academy module, uh, attacking web applications with FFUF. Uh, so my part one video, we actually did the first three. Uh, so now we're going to do the last two. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So uh, the fourth one here, it says in the page from the previous question, you should be able to find multiple parameters that are accepted by the page. What are they? Um, so quick thing to note. Uh, when you spawn the target system, um, make sure that you update your ETC host file. Um, so if I take a look in here, um, I went ahead and updated um, the IP addresses, um, especially like if you're going to work on the second half the next day, you know, the target could change the IP. So always make sure you update your, uh, your host file. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out of here just to confirm that. All right, so now we gotta we gotta fuzz this web page to see what parameters it's gonna accept um, because we know from the part one video we were able to get to this Linux security page, but then it told us we don't have access. So there must be some type of credential that'll allow us to get in. Um, so let's go ahead and fuzz to see. Okay, well, what's that uh, parameter name uh, for that credential? Uh, so if we take a look at the hint here. Um, it says, don't forget to try out both parameter fuzzing methods. So in the cheat sheet, um, it's going to be both these here. It's going to be the parameter fuzzing get request, and then it's going to be the parameter fuzzing post request here. Um, so let's, let's go ahead and just jump right in. So that command is going to be FFUF-W, then the location of your cyclists, and then we're going to use that BERT parameters names.txt file. Um, so it's going to be discovery web content burp parameter names.txt colon fuzz dash u then the URL so that's going to be faculty.chemi.htb the port number I have is 3069 nope colon 3069 I'll drag this window here all right, so we're in the courses, Linux security.php7. All right, so the first one's going to be the get parameter fuzzing. So that's going to be question mark uh, fuzz equals key. Um, so yeah, so for this command, right, we're just trying to see, okay, this word list has all the common names of parameter names. So we're just going to go through all of them and see which ones that web page takes. So let's go ahead and hit enter. And then again, uh, we have to filter this down. So we see the common size is 774. So I'll do up arrow and then FS 774. Then hit enter there. And then let this guy run. And then it could take a little bit. Oh, there we go. It's picking up. Yeah, usually these exercises, it kind of waits till the middle-ish end uh, to kind of give you the answer. Uh, so just be patient with it. Let it keep going. All right, there we go. So now we have user. So we know that the web page will respond to the user parameter name. Um, but you can see here in the answer, we actually have two. We have user and username. Um, but remember in the hint, it tells us to try both. Um, so let's up arrow again. So this was the git parameter fuzzing. So the post parameter fuzzing is going to be pretty much the same thing. So leave everything the same, but it's going to be dash x, and then post dash d, and then key equals fuzz, dash h to modify the header, and then content type, application, forward slash x, dash www, dash form, dash url encoded. All right, then go ahead and hit enter. And then again, 774 as the size. And then I'll just put slash T 1000 just to make it really fast. All right, so let's see what we get here. Well, we should get username. So yeah, again, just, just let it run, do its thing. Um, and it should pop up with the values here. Oh, maybe not. Uh, maybe I did something wrong. So let me double check the command. 
So we're in the burp parameters. So faculty, academy at HDB, we got the port, which is 306.9. Okay, so Linux security, PHP 7. Okay, dash X, then post dash D. And then we have, oh, that's why. I kind of flipped this around. Um, so it's actually fuzz equals key. Yeah, I was working on this problem before, so I was trying a bunch of things, but this is actually fuzz equals key um, because the word list that we have, um, it has all the common parameter names, right? So we want to see, okay, what's the parameter name it's going to respond to? And then it says a placeholder, we're just assigning it key. Um, so now let's go ahead and press enter. And let it do its thing. All right, there we go. So now it shows up with user and username. So in reality, we could have just used the post request, but it's still always good practice to use the get and post request to kind of get a full view there. All right, so now um, we know what the parameter name is. So now the last question is, try fuzzing the parameters you identified for working values. One of them should return a flag. What is the content of the flag? All right, so now that we know um, that it's user, so now we got to figure out, okay, well, what's the what's the name of the user? What's the username? Um, so let's go ahead and um, go press the up arrow. So what we could try now, well, actually not up arrow. So if you look in your sec list directory, um, so if I do uh, cd user share, um, and then let's, oh, not that, I'll clear that. Uh, CD user share sec lists. All right. So now um, we've been kind of working in the discovery um, section. So since we're dealing with usernames, we're going to be looking into the usernames uh, sec list um, directory. So if we go look in there, um, CD usernames. We'll take a look here. So now we can see a couple word lists, right? So we have top usernames, short list. Um, then we have this net 10 million usernames uh, over here. Um, so I went ahead and I tried this one. Um, it didn't work. So I actually kind of want to use this one. Um, I guess the bigger the better, right? So um, we're going to use this guy to, f to have it sort through just all the top 10 million usernames and see if, you know, that's the right one. And then we should get the flag. So let's go ahead and do that command. So um, we'll do FFUF. And we're going to use the post command. Um, actually, if we take a look at the hint here, it says, try to find a good word list from sec list. So we did that. Once you find a working value, use curl to send a post request with a value to get the flag. Great. So let's go ahead. Um, Let's go ahead and find that value. So we're going to go user share, sec list, then usernames. Then we're going to use uh, that one that we found. So usernames.txt, fuzz-u, then faculty.academy.htb, 306.9. Oops, spelled that wrong. Courses, Linux security. PHP 7, all right, dash X, post D. All right, so um, now what we can do is uh, we'll put username equals fuzz. So now that we know the parameter name is username, now we can say username equals, and then we're going to put fuzz as that, um, as that placeholder, right? So now it's going to sort through this, this whole word list, this 10 million usernames word list. It's going to go through and it's going to say username equals this, username equals this, and it's going to do it um, until it, you know, finishes that through that word list. So um, now we can do dash H to modify the header, then content type, and then application x www form URL encoded. All right, and then we'll figure out the filter value. But yeah, it's a pretty long command. So let's go ahead and press enter. 
All right, so the size was 781, so FS 781. You can see that right there. And then actually I'll do T 1000 so we can get it quicker. All right, so again, just kind of wait for a little bit. All right, so look, we got, oh, we got two. So we got uh, Harry, capital H, and then a lowercase Harry. Um, so we can just let it go for a little bit longer, um, but I think that's that's what we want. Um, if you actually let it go a little longer, you'll get another one. Um, it's all caps lock Harry, so H-A-R-R-Y, um, all capital. Oh, there we go, perfect. Um, so yeah, so these are the three we can work with. So now we got the name of the user. So now let's go ahead and do the curl post command. So that's going to be curl, HTTP, again, the URL, let's see, colon 369, courses, Linux, security, PHP 7, and then dash X, post. Another important thing, post has to be capital. Um, I was actually did it lowercase, and for some reason I couldn't grab the answer. Then I was like, oh, wait a second. It actually has to be all caps. Once I did that, it worked. Um, so dash D. So now we'll go username equals Harry. We'll try the all caps one, dash H, and then content type, and then application, dash X, www, form, slash URL, encoded. And when you're working with PHP sites, uh, when you're doing a post command, the header, this content type, application, X, www, form, URL, encoded, it needs to be in there. Um, so when you work with PHP, make sure you put that in. And then let's go ahead and press enter. All right, so it comes back. And there's the flag right there. Um, so yeah, so we can clear that. Now we can try it again with um, without the all caps. So what if we did all lowercase? Hit enter. Yep, still works, so it's not case sensitive. So um, well actually, let's go ahead and try um, just with the capital H. Scroll back up. Yep, so it works. So it's not case sensitive. Um, so yeah, so that's how we get that. So um, that's it, guys. So that concludes the HTB Academy module. Um, so we finished these last two uh, for this part two video. So I hope you guys really found this uh, helpful. If you did, I would love it if you guys subscribed. Um, also, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. But until then, uh, we'll talk to you guys later.